Hi friends, I'm Pastor Diana. Welcome to another Daily Devotion. I'm so glad you've taken a few moments to spend some time with God. I hope they are peace-filled. This week we've been talking about what it means to practice peace and how we can cultivate peace through gratitude and within us and that God's peace is a little bit different than the absence of conflict or just being tranquil. Today, our scripture lesson comes from the book of Hebrews, where the author writes in chapter 12, verse 14, pursue the goal of peace along with everyone and holiness as well, because no one will see the Lord without it. Pursue the goal of peace along with everyone. You know, peace is a something that can happen to everyone. And it's not just about you, it's about the whole world and all of us experiencing God's wholeness. And so we're called to practice this peace. We're called to pursue this goal so that we can be a part of God's vision for the world. There's a very uh, familiar prayer by St. Francis of Assisi, which called the Peace Prayer, which I think can help us guide our way. St. Francis writes, Lord, make me an instrument of thy peace. And then he goes on and we'll pray that at the end. But this prayer is beautiful because it tells us what we can do to be a part of God's peace in the world. Ways that we can practice peace in this chaotic and divisive and uh, anxious world. So we can so love where there might be hatred, where there is injury, we can pardon and forgive. Where there's doubt, we can strive for faith. Where there's despair, we can practice hope. Where there's hard times, we can be light in those places. Where there's sadness, we can find joy even in those midst. And we can be instruments to hopefully other people can experience God's peace through us. And so consider how you can practice peace in this world. As we prayed this prayer, what what verse is standing out to you that God is calling to you to maybe practice that today? And how can you be an instrument of peace? Will you pray with me? Lord, make me an instrument of thy peace. Where there is hatred, let me sow love. Where there is injury, pardon. Where there is doubt, faith. Where there is despair, hope, where there is darkness, light, where there is sadness, joy. O oh, divine master, grant that I may not so much seek to be consoled as to console, to be understood as to understand, to be loved as to love. For it is in giving that we receive, it is in pardoning that we are pardoning, pardoned, and it is in dying that we are born to eternal life. Amen. Thank you so much for joining me. I pray that as you go forth and practice peace in your life, as you pray that God makes you an instrument of God's peace, that your mind and heart be guarded in Jesus Christ, and that you be filled with a peace that exceeds all understanding.